Come on, baby. Give daddy a land. Or 50. How's it going, boys? And 3.5%. Today, we are doing something that I honestly never thought that we we're gonna be doing again. And that is playing mono black standard rats oh yes and i know what you're thinking i know what you're thinking but wait quasar i don't see too many rats here the best i'm currently seeing is a giant rat but it's an enchantment that has absolutely nothing to do with rats in all honesty yes you would be correct uh, correct to assume that but we have this tangled colony this card Honestly, is completely blatantly overpowered, and I think everyone who plays uh, Black Aggro will play this bad boy. Because Tangled Colony is one of those special cards, if you know what I'm saying. When Tangled Colony cannot block, nor can Rat Tokens, by the way. When Tangled Colony dies, create X11 Black Rat Creature Tokens with this, uh, with this creature can block. X is the amount of damage this took. So, essentially... All of red removal just makes this card better. Every single creature that blocks it, usually on average, will make at least a minimum of two black rats. Which is, well, pretty good if I'm being completely honest right here. And, you know, there's other good things about it. So this card alone floods the board with rats. And, well, you know, I did honestly t look into other rat cards, but it doesn't seem that good. But instead, I decided to go for uh, the new draw engine that we kind of have, which is Lord Skitter's Blessing, plus things like uh, Spiteful Hex Mage and a Warehouse Tubby. Oh, yes, 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 this thing creates a rat token whenever an enchantment uh, dies. And this thing creates an aura, which is an enchant token. And, well, this thing gives you a card drop where you lose one, uh, one life if you have a uh, control an enchanted creature, which this, by the way, is. And then we have a bunch of other things. Obviously, we have four Shreldreds, because let's be real here for a minute. Uh, you are... Definitely not escaping the wrath of uh, Queen Shelly. No matter how far you try to run away from standard, she's she's always going to be persistent. And then we have to, uh, four Virtues of Pestilence, which is a bit much, but, you know, I kind of like it. Then we have one Invasion of Innistrad because, well, zombies and rats that, you know, do stuff, why honestly not? And Invasion of Fiora for just that one, one off the top of rat. And then we just have a bunch of things, you know, Tenacious Underdogs, uh, Cruel uh, Somnoho, Somnia, no one cares. But you know what this card does. And this card, on average, kind of blatantly overpowered, not gonna lie. Getting this bad boy to a 7-7 seven, seven is not really that hard in most cases. And then we just have removal. Go for the Throat and Shreldrick Edict. We're kind of powerful against uh, Control because, you know, we have stuff here. And, you know, a lot of other things. One interesting thing that you could have actually done... Oh, that sounded bad. Can you? Yeah, you probably can hear that. That, but whatever. Uh, let me show you one card that you could potentially add here: Twisted Sewer Witch. Now, one, uh, she's hot. Two, she's crazy, which increases the hotness. And well, she's actually not that bad of a card. For five mana, you get a three four, and you get a one one rat with an hour attached to him. But wait, if you have more uh, more rats, well, they also get a free wicked aura attached to them, which is actually kind of pretty neat. But we we are not using enough rats because honestly, like for example, this rat old fitter uh, uh, flitter thing. Not that great. I don't know. There's not that many rats that I honestly think you can use in uh, in standard. In historic, definitely. Uh, but in standard, doesn't seem that much worthy. But again, this card alone creates so many rats, it's not even funny. Anyway, with that being said, 22 lands to be specific, 2.7 average mana cost, and with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a crack in and see what happens. Amazing hand, not gonna lie. And also, I also have no idea what just happened that game. But yeah, you close up, you usually don't know what happens in the game. Uh, true, yes, but how- but the, stop reminding me, okay? So, let's do this, because I want some, you know, presence on the board. 
you know, we got the ball. I don't... Okay, I want to draw cards because that's going to be big cheese sauce. Look at this. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. Roll. Roll me up, ba... There is no world where you have a one drop that can actually influence the board in any way. How... Much of overwhelming light, eh? Well, uh, I never expected to see, honestly, that happen, but it is what it is. Okay, uh, hopefully he doesn't have another one of those, because that would be bad. Very bad, in fact. Yes! Double draw! Let's go, boys! Double draw. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Oh, the draw engine of dreams. Look at this. Mm-mm, rat colony, eh? Ain't that lovely? Oh. oh, wasn't that, wasn't actually that impactful, but you know what? Good enough, baby boo. Good enough, baby boo. And if next turn he does nothing, we're gonna be outdrawing him on value so much. It's gonna be insane. Plus the Tangled Colony is currently a problem. Plus there, there exists this. Plus there exists the vir uh, virtue of pistolets that makes a lot of sense, some magically how. In any case... I'm enjoying myself. Wow. Man, what a start. I mean, the best thing he can do is just overwhelming light. Probably a bless, a single blessing. Which is not impressive even, not gonna lie. Okay. And if he does that, he still gets attacked by the rat colony, which is nice. And ossification. Wow. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Usually ossification is, is, is problematic. Well, it is what it is. And you know what it is? Well, it is this. But I need to probably do this. Okay, good enough. I'm still dealing damage. I'm still being aggressive. We didn't get a land, but that's absolutely fine. We have this for the late game. And also, notice how the graphics here are bugged. Because... Did you just what mate me with an Elspeth? What if you find nothing? Well, that's not exactly the equivalent of nothing, but good enough. In any case, uh, yeah, I, I guess you did a thing right now here, Chief, but you know... It is what it is. In any case, no value for Lord Skeever's blessings, but again, the faithful always receive the blessings of Lord Skeever. Okay, okay, not really. Lord Skitters. Yeah, he's actually even called Lord Skitter Skitters. Not impressed, not gonna lie. Let's see if he blocks. Again, it's like, what do you do? Do you block the colony? Well, if you block... Whoa! How about you just relax there, Chief? Yeah, it's kind of expected to see a wandering empress in a situation like this. Because degeneracy always takes the same forms. That's usually Wandering Empress for white. And... Oh! 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 Well, you know. Still got two Rato tokens, so... <laughs> and I'm probably never even touching the Shreldred, so you can, you can have a good time there, Chief. Anyway, let's see what he does. Um, he didn't do a lot. Well, that's impressive. Okay, gain a little bit of sauce. Do we want to do this? Is it actually smart? Nope, nope, nope. It's not smart. Let's just force him to sag the planeswalker. It's fine. Okay, uh, five. Man, if I could have just gotten one more draw from Lord Skeever's Blessing, it would have been absolute fire. But sadly, that was not the world that was meant. It is what it is, boys. But you know what else is? His HP is... Whoa! What do you mean, Blast Zone? How do you mean, Blast Zone? Wait a minute, we just got... Okay, okay. With one mana... I'm gonna close the window. Ah. With one mana away from actually experiencing... Well, some pretty well tier shit right there, boys. Um... Do this. It's not like he can do anything against it. Um, I guess this, obviously. Do I attack for Shrilded? No, but I really want to flip this. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. 
We're literally just one more man away from uh, getting, well, that co Oh no, he exiled this! So we're not gonna be able to uh, persistence and get the blessing constantly. Oh, that's slightly annoying. But it's... Is he gonna bump this to four? Yes. Wow. What a time to be alive. Well, I guess it's a really annoying card if you think about it. Let's see what we can actually get out from his graveyard. Mm, not a lot. Okay, well, this is fine. Wait, he's not popping it still? Like, why bump it if you're not gonna pump it? Interesting. Well, in any case, he has two cards, I have one card, but I'm really good at drawing... Yo! Chief! Relax! I have never seen Elspeth being such an absolute annoying, uh, annoying creature here, you know? I wanted to say the other C word, but it's too early in the video. YouTube will not be happy about my life choices. And, predictably, another wedding announcement. I mean, that's fine. Um, finally got some saucy boy. Wait, that's a saucy boy for just two? Oh my lord. Have mercy, what the hell? Yo, I... I I, I, I need I need my uh, I need my, uh, my my virtue out out now. And by the way, who do you think is the winner of the new uh, expansion? I think it's honestly Mono Black because it has virtue of persistence. So currently, it's virtue of persistence because it's the best virtue, right? Because it already plays into a bunch of things that we are technically already playing in. So you know, it's just a ten out of ten banger if we're being completely real here. Uh, second of all. You really need to proc this, dude. You really do. And second of all, uh, the other virtues are just kind of bad. Well, the white one is kind of OP under the right circumstances. It's just an instant free win. But the green one is... If it was 5 mana, it would be useful. But it's not 5 mana. So it's kind of garbage, honestly, most of the time. Honestly, it's adventure effect is even better than uh, the actual virtue virtue effect. So, you know, you, you kind of have that. Why is he not doing anything? Also, that's neat. Let's go, baby boo. Let's go. Guess, guess who's doing what, boys? Destroy all non-legendaries. That's right. You thought that I'm going to actually misclick. Well, I can't blame you. I usually do misclick. And now I do this and please... No! That's why he didn't pop it. Because, asshole. Oh, I am pissed. Actually, beyond pissed. A lot pissed. Okay, so what can I get from this guy? He's just literally playing bottom hands and wandering empresses. Man, the longer the, uh, the, the longer the set goes, the more of a problem, by the way, the wandering empress is gonna be. Not even gonna lie. It is just, okay, at least that's good. I mean, we're gonna probably draw a thing, so, you know, that's good. Hopefully. We're gonna take a lot of damage also. Jeez, we're gonna take a shit ton of damage. Yo! Wait, what? Why would you... Oh, because he knows it's virtue of, uh, uh, virtue of persistence. Right, that makes sense. Okay, so that was stupid out of 10. He actually kind of got me with the play. Well, admittedly, he's just using a Wandering Empress, and there's not a lot of things you can do against the Wandering Empress because of reasons. Man! Dude, he got two betting announcements on that play. That's just so dumb. Okay, we're gonna get... Actually, we're not getting... Oh, yeah! And now... Okay, okay, I see how it is. I think this is a forced loss because, man, the amount, the amount of, the amount of solutions this guy had is just, you know, a little bit too much. He, he, so, he, he was the king of solutions against me and he got betting announcements. AK, in this bad build, it's like literally the best card you can get with Elspeth. Elspeth, honestly, is super weak sauce. Well, close enough, good game. 
Man, we could have won this so easily if I think about it, but it is what it is. Had to mulligan one, but honestly not even that bad. Our opponent also mulliganed one. Interesting. Ooh. Bard two. Well, that's definitely something. Hmm. Var too? Well, you can't actually deal with that. Well, I guess it's just a waiting turn in that case. We're gonna be dropping... Probably go for the throat on anything. Wait, is he just gonna buff? No, he can't even buff. What is he doing? Is he buffing? Huh. I mean, okay. That's a, that's a pretty big giant's growth. Is he gonna double? No, he's not. <laughs> At least he's not doubling, boys. Wow. That that is just something else. Okay, do nothing, I guess, the turn. Tenacious underdog. Tenacious underdog is pretty good. He... Well, a guy like this definitely sh probably has some battle tricks, so... Well, we already saw this as a battle trick, but I mean some fight mechanics, right? So, let's see, what is he gonna do? I actually don't care too much... He's already looking at his hand. You know what, Chief? No, not today. How how about I just do the uh, Skidder's Blessing? And then I go for the throat a little bit later on. Oh, he saved that. Wow! This guy's insane! That's something else. That's something else, boys. Look at that. Okay, so now let's just key, uh, buff this guy up. And what now? Do we attack? Hmm, I kind of wanted the rat token, but I get... Well, I guess it's just deal some damage so we get some value. Hey, he's gonna be uh, at the back end by doing this, so it's fine. Okay, as long as this survives, you know, we're, we're gonna do some stuff. I guess that's gonna be cool. Um, block or no? Obviously no. I mean, we have a Shreldred. He probably doesn't have a Shreldred, so... Who's the real winner, eh, Chief? He's gonna buff again. Yeah, we already know he... Does he... No, he had only one giant's growth. I guess that's fine. Okay, draw cards, see what happens. What a time to be alive. Okay, okay, interesting. I can do this. I can put this, by the way, on a tabby cat. Which kind of doesn't actually change anything a lot, but, you know, it's fine. And now... I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Bless ya. And what do I do now? This is still a zero zero. What is what a, what an awkward situation to be in. I can't cast this. Well, I can, but there's no point. I guess I'm just attacking, and then I'm probably gonna just double block here. I mean, this game is going not the way I expected it to go. I'm not gonna lie, boys. Okay, we do have the death touch, so blocking isn't actually a problem. Yes, gain death touch is a thing. It is what it is. Okay, and now we're gaining death touch. And, well, that's that's pretty much all she wrote. Do this. Let's see what he does. Is he gonna buff? I think he's gonna buff. Why wouldn't you have it? Okay, he didn't. Okay, well, good enough. <laughs> okay, best scenario, I draw land. And. And. Uh, after that, I just, well, draw... Wait, what is the best that I can... He just concedes? What? Okay, we got a pretty good opening here, boys. Let's start with the Hex Mage. Maybe I actually want to go... No, no, no. Well, again, it kind of depends on what our opponent is doing. Interesting. And by interesting, I mean kind of dull, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna play the Tenacious Underdog because I, I I want all the value that can possibly be gotten from the Blessing. Well, you know, if you don't use the Blessing properly, it's gonna be a pretty bad card. But if you use the Blessing properly, well, it's a pretty OP card. It is what it is, boys. Okay, so let's do this. And now we have a double Vamid our way up to, well, perfection, it seems like. So this is good. This is good. I wonder if he goes for the Tenacious Underdog. Nope, he does... Well, he still has a choice. Interesting. Could he drop any? I don't think he... Well, I don't think he has any flashes. 
Go for the throat. Okay, that's fine. You're still gonna lose one HP from the wicket, uh, but that's fine. Okay, still pumping it like it's hot. If I get two lands, by the way, here, I may... Ah, this is problematic. No lands. Oof. Wizards, I, I, I understand that your system is pretty bad on average, but you really should learn what uh, that, you know, this is not an acceptable land ratio draw. And our opponent, by the way, is playing, uh... Well, everyone knows what he's playing. He's playing uh, Arcane Embodiment. And it obviously he has the Arcane Embodiment in hand, ready to go. And that's gonna be problematic. Oh no, he's playing Atraxa? Well, Atraxa or not. Honestly, I, I could not care less. Because the situation currently is like... I have drawn 12 cards and this is like... This this is a literally one in six land draw ratio. I'm not happy noises. Come on, baby, give daddy a land or fifteen. But allow me. Wait, you know what actually magic needs? You know what magic needs? Seriously? Wow. I mean, that's one way to play it, I guess. Well, it's an it's it's an interesting way to play it for sure. But anyway. You know what magic... I guess this is smart. Plus she's hot. You know what magic, by the way, needs? It needs a mechanic for... If your opponent has, for example, two lands more than you, you can play two lands per turn. Or something like that. I think that would be a great mechanic, by the way. Just, just FYI. I think that would be an absolutely perfect mechanic. Because otherwise, look at this. I'm probably drawing two lands at this point. At least. Or three, even. Ah, two lands. But, you know, again, how do I know this? Because it's easy to predict, right? So, you know, it would have been great if I actually had the ability to, you know, not get land bricked here. And I had the ability to drop all the lands. Plus, what do I do now? Hmm... Well, he's probably gonna pad of pedal us. How did you work again? When a legendary blah blah blah, you may have to become an equipment artifact here. If you do equip it, gets blah blah, all loses all of their abilities. Um, interesting choice, I guess. It's a mon. Dude, he's just double shreldreading? Yo, essay, relax. Why would you ever do- well, I mean, double a truck saying. You should probably- oh, he- oh, dude, I breached the multiverse even. Yo! This man's crazy. You know I can get his Atraxa with the Virtue, by the way? I don't think he has- oh, he has blue? Interesting. Okay. Another Atrax? Ah, uh, okay, 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 I guess- well, I guess he's really going deep on the discard idea of uh, a two-color Atraxa. I mean, it's a pretty cool thing, and it's probably the most practical out there. I personally don't... Well, I could do a two-color Atraxa. Let's be real, at some point I'm gonna do it. Because, well, you know... Well, Virtue of Persistence literally uh, uh, is begging Atra Mommy Atraxa to say yes. And, well, how can I say no, you know what I mean? Anyway... Uh, okay, now I'm drawing too many cards. <laughs> Bruh, drawing too many cards. What a time to be alive. Anyway, uh, drop the Katso, uh, Katso Kato, which is nice. Um, let's see. Drop a mage. And then we're just gonna go for the throat for... The no, actually, do we go for the throat? Or do we edict? I think we edict in case. Yeah, we edict because it's, you know, otherwise it's untargetable for now. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, let's do this and let's Shreldred's edict. I don't know if I'm winning this one. I mean, he he pretty aggressively got the Traxa out very convincingly. So, <laughs> kind of... Kind of hard, you know what I mean? Kind of hard. But, on one hand, I'm actually kind of happy because this Atrox is... 
Theoretically easier to actually deal with than, um, you know, the arcane bombardment, technically. So, you know, that's a thing. Also, I'm finally getting the lands. Finally getting the lands. Hmm. But yeah, I actually think it... Okay, that was expected. I mean, he's gonna suffer some damage from this, which is good. Oh, uh, does the bat. I literally could not care less. I wonder what he's gonna do. He discards a lounge. Sure. He's gonna do some damage to me, I guess. Well, again, not, 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 not blatantly impressed at the moment. Should I actually play Shreldred though? He's gonna get a Shreldred from the Breach to multi uh, Multiverse no matter what technically, so... You know, it is what it is. I can I can get it out for freebies it seems like at this point though. For- dude, if I had 6 mon it would be so nice, but again... Literally not the chosen one it seems like. Okay, dub double go for the throw this pretty lit, not gonna lie. We do have Virtue, so again, we can literally get this guy's Atraxa, if we feel like it. But if we get this guy's Atraxa, the Skeever's bl uh, Sk uh, Skitter's Blessing is gonna damage me, because I will mill myself. Which is bad. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, he should have removal for this, right? Or not? He didn't have removal for this. I am... Okay, so he's gonna try and remove Shreldred, and then he's gonna try and breach the Multiverse. Or get his own Shreldred, kinda depends. Oh, uh, Cityscape Leveler, that's that's honestly fine. Five, six, six, okay. What did he mill? Oh my lord, he actually milled nothing. Yo! Did he just brick himself by milling? I think he did. Yeah, Tenacious Underdog is the only choice he can even actually make here. That's insane in a membrane. Oh, he did get a tally. Wait, a tally? Oh, double a tally. Ooh, feels bad, man. I mean, okay, I guess. Oh, he does have a way to deal with Shirley. Okay, that's fine. Um... By the way, I would be winning this so ridiculously easy. But again, the, the problem is lands. The problem is lands. Because I just flat out don't have enough. I, I, I just don't have enough. I, I'm gonna drop the Tangled Colony and now I'm just gonna do this. If he, if he gets, if he gets my Virtue, I'm actually done. I'm pretty much done. But if I had seven lanes and got the Virtue first, that means I'm actually farming his Atalis. Which would mean I insta bid, pretty much. Cityscape, what? Do you have another one or something? What, what, what's the deal here? Okay. That's cool. Can I actually drop you? No, I can't, probably. I mean, it's on Earth, so it's gonna go bye-bye. Uh, oh, he has Bitter Reunion. Sh yeah, boy! Oh, boy. I wonder whether he's gonna get... Okay, I mean, that's, a, that's definitely a choice. Hmm. I still can't survive. As stupid as this sounds. And yeah, literally only now seven lands. Oof, man. I mean, he's just gonna drop the Atali. I actually, this is not even a choice, sadly, right? My best bet currently is this. Into attack. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Man, these game, Dude, these two games are... Again, I, I said this last video, but currently, uh, the games just feel the most rigged that they have ever felt in a long time. It, it, it is it is very blatant that you are uh, that your hands are always in one way, and that's kind of it. Feels bad, man. 
Well, anyway. If he tries to atali me, I, I still technically kind of like do things, so that's nice. A land. Ugh, you always get the lands when it's too late. It, do you think he's gonna just get by virtue of persistence when he atalies? I, I fucking think he's gonna get it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I think he's gonna get it. Also, again, dude. No, he got the nightmare. Okay, no, no, the nightmare is fine. The nightmare is absolutely fine. No one cares. The nightmare is fine. Oh, he also got this. No, I can't actually deal with that. Stop, bruv. Wait, he gets everything hasted? I thought this hastes only one thing. Okay, I mean, of course. Well. We didn't have a lot of chances here, not gonna lie. Dude, imagine getting that one land... One turn faster. One turn faster virtue of presence. And I actually just stomped this guy into the ground. It wasn't even a question. He just got like 15 more lands than me. And after he never drew lands when it was bad. Oh, good game. So close. Wizard, stop. Stop. I need to destroy these people. We're playing against someone named Captain Myrmacron. I mean, okay. That's a thing, I guess. And I think I just edict this away. Yeah, th this is going to be annoying because he's aggro. So might as well just not let him damage me as uh, for as long of time as possible. Could have virtued. But, but, we virtue second. Why? Well, because we, there's no reason not to. It's clear that he's some kind of aggro-ish build. Which means Shreldred's gonna be amazing. And this is still gonna be value at any moment possible. So it's fine. At least it should be fine. He's looking at a blood token. Hmm, interesting. Whoa! Okay. Okay, on the... Ooh. Hmm... I mean, there's never a reason to not do this, technically. So, might as well. Right, if we get a Shrelder drop and we get a bunch of lands to Persistent, it's gonna be pretty... What is this? Well, it's a card, yes. Kind of, kind of blindingly obvious. But now we have the combo so we can get some, uh, some absolute gorgeous uh, stuff out. Second, uh, Feist and uh, Creature Surveil 1. If, if there are five or more, okay. Oh, uh, sure. Do nothing and let me draw. Is that going to be the play? Interesting. What if I actually get to my persistence in that case? And that's not going to be good. Another one. Hmm. Um. Do we bait? Yeah, I think we bait. Why not? Okay, let's see. We, we have another Shreldred. And as long as we get more draws with this, we're gonna just get to the Persistence fast. Which is gonna make it technically a lot better. So, what now? One, one creature card in the graveyard? First time I have actually ever seen Sanguine Spy being ironically used. Like, wow. Okay. If there are four money, you may pay a two life. Ooh. Okay. Well, I know what this is. I technically get where he's going with his build, and yeah, I kind of expected this. Well, what can I say? It's currently an experience playing standard, if you know what I mean. Anyway, this was Quizzer Said Said. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's pretty interesting. It's a pretty solid build. I mean, there's a lot of things you can actually, like, swap around here and get rid of. Maybe you don't want the Kato. Maybe you don't want this, uh, the whatever this is supposed to be pronounced as. There are so many options here. It's kind of wild. It's kind of wild and it's kind of cool. But in any case, this was Quizzer Said Said. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and have a nice day. Bye bye.